going on everybody I'm back in the shop today so I just recently had someone reach out to me who wants a lure painted just like this fire tiger here but in the bigger nine inch version basically only need four colors to do this one we're gonna start with the fluorescent yellow from Cretex then a little bit of fluorescent orange for the belly a little bit of fluorescent green for the top and then just a stripe of darker green on the back just to mimic this there and then we'll do the black stripes after so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the fluorescent yellow. Here we go. All right, next up here is the fluorescent orange. We're just gonna hit the belly here get a little tiny bit of overspray onto the uh Perfect. All right, now we'll do green on the top. Fluorescent green loaded up here. We're just gonna basically do the top and kind of get just a little bit of overspray onto the side. And now we'll just add a touch of dark green just to darken up the back. Keep that fluorescent green fading into the side there. All right, got the dark green loaded. So now we just have to be pretty precise with our paint here. left is to put on the black stripes. We'll let this dry up pretty good just to uh, make sure that um, when we put the tape or our stencil on that we don't peel off the previous paint. All right, we got our stencil all on and we're just gonna spray some black now. Get those perch stripes. All right, it's time for my favorite part, which is putting on the epoxy clear coat. Got it mixed up here. I usually let it sit in the cup for about eight minutes just to get a little bit more tacky so it doesn't run off the bait. I use the amazing clear cast and uh, we'll get started. And I like to start in the joints here, get all the tricky spots first, and then I'll also get around the eyelets and then we'll coat the whole thing. We wanna make sure we don't get the joints for obvious reasons, otherwise then the bait won't move right. That's why I like to start here. coated around all the eyelets and everything. So now let's just start covering this thing all up. You got pretty long working time with this, so you don't need to rush. You just wanna make sure everything gets coated. And you just wanna kind of make sure that it doesn't have to be perfectly on there flat, because as soon as we put it on the rotisserie or the drying wheel, it will all start to lie flat and smooth. But you wanna make sure you get even coat on there.
And once you have it all epoxied, you just wanna make sure you look over the whole bait, make sure you didn't miss any spots, just touch it up. And the final step is once I have it on the rotisserie, I'm just gonna take a blowtorch and get rid of any of the air bubbles that might be in the epoxy. It doesn't look like too many, but I think so far that looks pretty good. And I'll show you guys the finished product when it's all dry. All right, there we go. It's cured for a couple days. The epoxy's nice and hard and it's ready to fish. I sent a picture to the guy. He said it looks awesome. Even though I'm not 100% happy with it, there's a few things that I got a little bit of overspray on the patterns, the strike pattern there, but you know what? It will still catch fish and it looks just like the other one. So I think all in all, it turned out pretty good.